Senator Kerry Dietzik has represented Northeast and Southeast Minneapolis for a decade, but for the first time she is now the DFL Senate Majority Leader. Senator Dietzik's rise to the position of Majority Leader was unexpected because a lot of people, including perhaps the Senator, didn't expect the DFL to win control of the Senate. And joining us now is Majority Leader Kerry Dietzik. Uh, Leader, thank you so much for coming in. Good morning. All thank right. you. Let me ask you just right off the bat, um, you heard Melissa Hortman say you don't want to set ex expectations pretty high, too high. Expectations are high that you guys are going to get a lot done. Do you think that's going to happen? Uh, we have a lot of expectations for ourselves. Um, we have told Minnesotans, we listened to them when we were out campaigning, and they said they were tired of gridlock. And so we told them that, you know, we're going to have hearings on these bills. We want them at the table. We want to hear what they have to say. Uh, so bills are moving forward, and we're having hearings. Okay. Just, it strikes me, uh, and I, I've interviewed you, you before, that you're kind of a low-key person, uh, not wanting to take the spotlight, which is unusual in politics. I think of covering some of these negotiations with Senator Bach and Governor Dayton and Kurt Dowd and Paul Thiessen, and you, you could just tell when they came out, they'd been yelling at each other for two hours. Do you think you get along with the governor and Speaker Hortman? Well, I think we have a really good relationship. We met immediately after the election, and we've had regular meetings since then. We, we talk all the time. Uh, we are talking with our caucus all the time and sharing ideas and sharing what we think we can move and when we think we can move it. We don't want to wait to pass everything at the end of, the May, end of May. We want to keep things going um, and showing Minnesotans we heard them and we are getting things done. Okay. Um, legalizing marijuana, a lot of people excited about that, but we talked before the show, that's complicated. Do you think that is going to go through? Uh, it will take a lot of committee hearings. Uh, the, the agencies have been involved in that bill and working in that bill since probably 2018. They continue to update it. But we have a lot of new members. We have 24 new members in the Senate, almost a third of the Senate. And so we're going to want that bill to get the hearings, to air it out so um, the senators understand it and can add their, um, tweak it based okay. on what they're hearing from their constituents. One of the things you, you have to see here when you look at these priorities, and we've got a list of some of the priorities, it doesn't include all of them, are some, some family proposals that really could be life-changing, life-changing for, for families. One, paid family leave, uh, free school meals for all kids regardless of income, and also major changes to daycare. How, how badly do you want that? I know Melissa Hortman has talked about that for years. Uh, I think it's very important. I think it's important to families. Uh, young families have told us they can't find quality child care. They can't find child care, and then it's so expensive. So how do we help them? And that's a family issue, but it's also a local economy issue, because if that person can't find daycare, they're not working. Or if it's too expensive that it doesn't, it doesn't balance for their family budget, then they're not working, and we have a workforce shortage. So we need to figure out how to get people back into the workforce, and I think that's a great way to start. A lot of people look at this $17.6 billion surplus and say, we are being overtaxed, and they would like to see some tax cuts come out of this. What are your thoughts on the proposal to eliminate Social Security or taxes on Social Security income? That was part of a, a deal last spring. Is that going to happen? Um, so the 17.6 billion, about 12 billion of that is one-time money. So how we how we do things with the one-time money is different than ongoing money. Um, but the Senate's going to hear the Social Security tax cut bill um, to repeal and eliminate the taxes on Social Security. I think they're going to hear it this week. So we're going to hear bills, and we want Minnesotans at the table telling us what they feel about these bills, and then we'll um, make a decision and put together a package And after we hear from Minnesotans. All right, how about gun control measures? Uh, I call them gun violence safety measures. I know. <laughs> yes. Kids, ex you know, parents expect their kids when they're in school to be safe, and everybody wants to live in a safe community. So how do we reduce gun violence? And so we're going to have to figure that out. So I think we will be looking at different measures to help reduce that gun violence so that people feel safe. And the amount of guns. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, Senator Curry, thank you so much for coming on. We'll certainly follow, see, see what happens with this very big agenda. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.